All right, y'all, welcome back to Fall and Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate, and on today's episode, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cooking. So a lot of y'all ask me, how do I like to cook my ducks? And I always give y'all the same answer. I like to sear them, I like to saute them in a pan, and uh, it's really simple. So I'm gonna show y'all what I consider to be the easiest way to cook ducks and have it taste very, very, very good. So come take a look at this. This is actually a really fat late season green wing teal that we shot this year. Very delicious. I love green wing teal. And I love, it. I love them especially whenever they get all of this good fat on them, this good skin that you see right here. It's typically the way that I like to eat my ducks. I like to eat my ducks just like this. I don't particularly like meals where you get a whole duck pluck, so I typically don't do that. But what I do do usually is I keep the bones and I keep the legs and I make stock. Sometimes I throw the legs into my gumbos and stuff like that. So I do keep the whole duck, but I really like to cook my duck breast just like this. So I'm about to show you how I do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pat it dry. You want your, you want your duck breast really dry. You don't want any kind of water on it or anything like that. So I've already done that. So I'm going to transport them over here where I'm going to season them up. So very simple, a little bit of salt. All right, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Cajun seasoning of your choice. Probably don't even need the Cajun seasoning, but I like to put it on there anyway. Salt and pepper on both sides. Very simple. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to score the skin on this breast. You don't want to, you don't want to cut into the meat. You just want to take you some passes over it. This is going to help you render the good fat out of it. All right. All right. You can come the other way too with it. You're just passing your knife over it. You're not trying to kill it. Just like that. All right. All right, so there's multiple ways that you can do this. Uh, again, this is the simple way video. This video is about how to do it simply. One of the ways you can do it is you can take it, sear it in here, render all the fat out of it, brown it on both sides, finish it in the oven, okay? But like, like I said, this is just a little small teal breast. I don't really need to do all of that. So we're gonna keep it simple. First thing I'm gonna do, stick it in the pan here. Skin side down. And I'm putting it into a cold pan, all right? And the reason for that is you have to bring the heat up slowly for all of the oils to render out of that skin. And while you're waiting for that, you want to pour yourself a glass of wine. After a long day at work, nothing better. What you want to do is you want to slowly bring that heat up a little bit at a time, all right? I got it like a medium low right now. Look how that does that. See how it's coming out like that? That's what you want. See, if I would have just threw these things in here with that pan hot, hot, what it'll do is it'll actually lock all of those oils inside of the skin and it won't render out like that. So by starting low heat, it renders out that fat and you get a nice coating in the bottom of that pan preserve the flavor whenever you flip them over to the other side. All right, y'all, so once that skin gets nice and crispy, you wanna go ahead and flip them over. Look at that beautiful skin. Got nice and crispy, got a nice golden brown color on it. Brown them on the other side real good. And then take them off. All right. Let them rest. I'll usually let it rest for about five or 10 minutes. All right, y'all. Show you how beautiful this is, y'all. Feel that skin nice and crispy. Look at that. Look at that. About medium rare. I'd say they're a little bit, little bit overdone from what I like them, but still pink in the middle. Go ahead and take a bite. Still juicy. 
That skin, that skin is real crispy. Very, very good. Yeah, cooking these little teal, you gotta watch. I'd say I overdone it just a little bit, but it did preserve the juices. So that's a good thing, which also preserved the flavor. I'm not internally checking the temperature or anything like that. So sometimes it's tough to, you know, make it perfect, but very good. Very juicy. New juices. I don't want to run out too much. I like them. Very good. Very tender. Easiest way to make duck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So she decided that she wanted to get cranky when I'm trying to do an outro. She wanted to be on the video. So this is Miss Audrey. This is our new baby girl right here. She's beautiful. Audrey. She's, she's looking at my, my duck right now. <laughs> you gonna be eating that soon. <laughs> but yeah guys, duck is something that doesn't need a whole lot of work. You don't need to do all kind of crazy stuff to make it taste good. Duck is really good if you just keep it simple. That's what I found over the years of cooking duck. It's the more simple that I made it, the best that it tastes, a little bit of salt and pepper, sear it in the pan, skin side down, can't go wrong. That's how I like my duck right there. So you guys have been asking for the video, we delivered. I appreciate you guys for watching today's episode. I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV. Bye bye, Ms. Audrey. Say, Say bye, bye bye. Say subscribe. Say subscribe. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all.